Well, I actually really like this drive. So it's a nice little village. Uh, Burford is sort of uh, west of Oxford. Not too far from there anyway. And very, very good sort of heritage sort of town. Look at it, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I would dread to think how much a house around here would cost, but I imagine it's quite a lot. You've got a van obscuring us, Just indicate to get round. The car as well, oh, he's letting me go. Good man or woman, I have no idea. Or them, they. Who knows this day and age? Who bloody knows? That's my uh, dash cam making that noise. Look at that map. A little British town, isn't it? It's quite a big tourist attraction, I believe. You get a lot of um, people around here taking photos and stuff. And down here, we've got the one-way bridge, which is just about big enough to get a truck over. Uh, you see that? I've got a... Uh, Get my uh, articulated lorry over that little bridge. So that should be fun. Van Gogh. Come right over to the right. Get our trailer out. Super far. There's enough space, there is enough space, but yeah, you just have to take it a little bit easier than you usually would. Over speed today, naughty naughty. It happens, it does happen, especially when you're fully loaded and going downhill. Uh, take your eye off the ball for two seconds, and then before you know it, you're doing 60 miles an hour. And here we go, we're gonna to struggle to get up this hill, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it into manual, drop it down a gear. Otherwise, we'll pretty much stole it. Come on, girl, you can do it. You can do it. God, blimey. Wow, 20 mile an hour. Why well, anyone think we're going up Everest? <laughs> the tiniest little wheel. Like when you got uh over 20 tonnes worth of cargo on you. That can be quite a treacherous slog, especially in the wet as well, when you've not got much traction. I, I dread to think how these people that drive in Canada and stuff like that when it's thick ice and snow and they've got to go up and down these hills. I know they have snow chains on those of hell. Like you see every day, are rabbits, very common, but hares, not so much. Um, what was the sound? I lost my chain for it. Yeah, oh, yeah, so obviously they have snow chains and stuff like that, so yeah, I guess they are more prepared for it, but still, must be pretty daunting. Uh, he's gonna overtake me, I'll slow down a little bit, go past, and we shall carry on. Right, all right, guys, so we are all braked up. We didn't quite make it to the job. We had eight minutes left of drive time and 14 minutes away from the job. So I was a little bit annoyed that I couldn't get there in time. But unfortunately, it is what it is. It's just one of those things. So that's put me sort of an hour behind schedule, which is a little bit annoying because the day I am supposed to be picking up the children from the childminder and this might put me a little bit late. I mean, better she's not going to kick them out or anything, but, you know. <clears throat> I like to be punctual. Uh, it does mean that I am... Oh, look. Free police officers on bikes. Um, yeah, it does mean that... Uh, that's my chain of thought there. Anyway, we're going to go around this little fun bit of road so obviously we are fully loaded and this is a very 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 steep hill and I'm just going to show you basically 
the importance of using your engine brake. So I'm doing 20 mile an hour and you can feel the trailer just pushing against you as you're going down here. So if you look here, we've got a stalk here and we just pull that down and I'll put the engine brake fully on because it is a really steep hill and it is supposed to be 25 and I'm mile an hour max. So I'm just gonna go around here. It's quite a sharp bend. Uh, glad that I've never had to come this way. You can hear the engine, you can hear it holding it back. So it's holding us at a nice 25 mile an hour steady pace so we're not going to end up losing control and we're not putting too much pressure on the brakes. Uh, I'm going to take it down a little bit, I'm going to let it off in 30 mile an hour is okay. I'll say 25 minutes, so keep it out. We're going to use the brake a little bit just to hold it back but we, what we don't want to do is just keep our foot on the brake um, because that's going to make the brakes really hot and eventually if you rely on the foot brake too much, it could overheat and cause problems. I've had people before that I've known that have basically not used their engine brake and just used their foot brake going down hills and their brake discs have been glowing red and people have like been pulling them over and said, your brakes are on fire. You don't want that. Um, a little bit quick here. Yeah, just ease up a bit. Full engine brake again. I'm trying to get down to 40 mile an hour now on a straight. There we go. You see, it's just putting it back slowly, slowly, slowly. Too much pressure. So now, the incline's not as bad, so we're going to let it off a little bit. We've got three different stages on this, so obviously, the lower you put it down, the harder the engine brake's working. Right now I've got it on the lowest one. If you want to know, it's okay down here. I'm going to the front brake a little bit and then go back down another level engine brake. Just there. I think because we're going quite quick, we'll use one engine brake now. What this does is this brings us to a slower sort of stop. You can see up ahead there's a roundabout same reduce your speed now, so the engine brake is doing that for me actually coming down now. And then 45. And obviously the flatter it gets, the better it slows down. So I'm not using the brake at all here, I've just used the engine brake basically from the top of that straight uh, down to 30 mile an hour. Now I'm going to put a little bit of braking on as well as the engine brake. Lift that engine brake up because we're at the roundabout. We're going to want to pull away. So there we go, all clear. Over the roundabout. Okay, it's come off. And that's it. So there you go. If you are interested in how uh, the engine brake works, or also known as a retarder, then there you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.